Man, why do I get the feeling that I'm the only one here that didn't like it as much as everybody else? Heathen, well, you must die. Well, technically, there's always somebody who didn't like it as much. Yeah, I mean, but really, look at you. <laughs> it's like, it's, I just get the feeling that you are, I'm probably saying about this and you two are fanatical. Uh, or you're just wrong. Yeah, there could be that. Had you considered that option? Okay, well, let me hear y'all's opinions of this first because I'm, I'm real curious. Cause I haven't talked to you about it. Oh, I guess you haven't. No, I, I didn't know. I didn't know anything. Okay, um, I'll just start out by saying I absolutely love this movie. It was everything I ever would want a Spider-Man movie to be. As a matter of fact, as I sit there watching, I go like, "This is pretty cool," but it'd be real cool if they would. Oh, they just did it. Oh, like, and it just. All through the movie, I'm like, man, I just wish, oh, damn, he just did that, too. I, yeah, uh, you know, I've heard people complain that, you know, that uh, the movie had too much going on in it. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you people? Too much? I'm so used to these movies being anemic and me feeling like, yeah, I wish you could have done more. And this gave me more than I could handle. I'm just disappointed because they said Spider-Man was going to be black in this one. They, you know, it's just the suit. I thought Spider-Man was going to be a brother. And then that just turns out he's just a goth guy. You know, he's black on the outside. You don't know anything about that? Yeah, he's an Oreo. <laughs> he's, he's Oreo Spider-Man. He's black on the outside and white on the inside. It's vanilla ice Spider-Man. <laughs> and creamy at that. <laughs> no, I got to tell you, I agree with you, Martin, on the whole. Uh, I, I just do think this film is totally wonderful. Uh, I do kind of understand where the other people are coming from. To a certain point, there's a point about halfway through this film, you're going, man, this is a balancing act. They've got all the sticks with little spinning plates on them, and Sam Raimi's just running around, adding more and more plates and spinning them. And you're just like, how can he do it? Can he keep them all going? <laughs> and then at the end, you're like, oh, my God, they're, it's all perfect. It's like they hit some sort of ring, and everything is beautiful. It's just, you know, everything comes full circle from all three movies, and I just had to go clean myself up. Yeah. <laughs> Well, y'all are crazy, not because of this movie. I mean, y'all just crazy anyway, in general. <laughs> in life, y'all just crazy. But, you know, I look, I don't, you know, I don't begrudge y'all for loving this movie. I mean, that's what it's for. I, I'm, and to be honest, I'm, I'm not crazy about the whole Spider-Man series. I like it. I do. But this, it did have a lot going on for me. You know, not, they just didn't have a chance to develop all the characters, I thought. Too many plot lines going on. I didn't feel anything for for the Sandman, who you know, from what I remember, was just a thug. He was just out to look get just to get by. He just wanted to rob people and get his money, get going. You missed the reinvention. I mean, like what, like fifteen years ago, they kind of said, you know what, we kind of like the Sandman character, and came back and made him into a sympathetic villain. Yeah, he was almost a good guy for a while. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that's cool. You know, I mean, I don't have any problems. I'm just saying, since they made him so sympathetic, you know, if they're gonna make him a wuss, you know, I want to feel something for him. And I just, there was so much going on. I didn't feel sorry for Eddie Brock like I was supposed to feel. I didn't feel sorry for the Sandman. And honestly, I mean, I enjoyed the Peter Parker stuff, but I thought they could have developed that more. Wow. I, I thought there was, I thought it was all plenty. Wow. I thought that was all plenty developed uh, all well to me. As a matter of fact, you're not supposed to feel sorry for Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock is an asshole. Yeah, he is. Even when he didn't have the Venom suit, he is a capital P prick. Yeah, no, you know. <laughs> I, and I understand. I know you're not supposed to really feel sorry for him, but I, there was a point where you, he he just reaches like so low that he's desperate. And because of, I I felt like if they had had just one villain in this, maybe two with the Hobgoblin, because I really did like uh, uh, Harry James Franco. Yeah, James Franco. James Franco is uh, he just cocky as a motherfucker in this man. <laughs> this movie is about. Peter Parker, Mary Jane, and and Harry Osborn. All the other characters, all of them, are side characters to this main story who really all three movies have really actually been about. And I think what I really loved about this is that it realized that. It didn't get too distracted with all this other stuff. It Everything else that was going on around it was serving only to bring full circle the story of these three main characters. And that's why it really worked for me. That... And some amazingly badass action scenes. Yeah, I, I, mean, I have to agree with everything you say. Man, we should just get married. Because I, <laughs> I, I just love you right now, Chris. <laughs> I mean, I just love you right now, Cyrus. Uh, I love you too. Yeah, Chris. man. It, it's just, this, this movie showed that like, the first two and this all is one story about these main three characters. Peter Parker, Harry Osborn, and Mary Jane Watson, the shittiest girlfriend in the world. Mm. Oh, man. I See, I agree with you on that. I mean, you know, I know she's supposed to be the love of his life. But, I mean, she's flitting back and forth between these two guys like olive oil between Popeye and Bluto. You know, th their friendship breaks up. But when you look back through it, it's like, it's all because of her. 
Yeah. And then, you know, she's not that supportive of Peter Parker. But, you know, one thing I got to admire about Peter Parker is, and I, I got to use this trick, he keeps a police scanner in his bedroom. So anytime she's starting to bring up a subject like, Peter, let's talk about our feelings. He can go like, oh, wait, wait, oh, oh, <laughs> a, a, a bank's getting robbed. Oh, I, I got to go to work, Mary Jane. But go get him, Tiger, right? <laughs> Out of here. See, don't you do that. Because you talk about you're going to get a, a police scanner just so you can tune women out. But you're going to be listening to that shit, and you're going to put on a costume and go out there and get your ass shot trying to be a superhero. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> i tell you, how about this? How about I just put it on a tape loop? <laughs> so I know the emergency is not real, and I can pick and choose between the ones I want to use to get out of those conversations. The thing that gets me is, okay, let's face it. Like, uh, Kristen, Kristen Dunst. Not the most beautiful face in show business. She's got that Sarah Jessica Parker thing going on, right? You oh, know, she's slow pan upper body. You're like, oh, damn. You get to the face, you're like, eh, okay. Oh, dude, she's you know, cuter than that. I mean, she does look. All, a, she, she looks a little bit like a pumpkin, but for the most part, she's cute. She's all right, but you know, there's a point in this movie. You see the whole city loves Spider Man. Refreshing to see because we're used to in the past everyone going, Spider Man, screw yeah. you. Spider Man sucks. And they're all these like. Girls with big titties and just gorgeous chicks just fawning all over them. Do anything for them. You know, Gwen Stacy, much hotter than Mary Jane Parker in this movie, if you ask me, right? Okay, that's Mary your Jane thing. Mary Jane Watson, yeah. A much hotter Gwen Stacy. So I don't remember Uncle Ben saying anything about just stick with one chick, right? <laughs> he said with great power comes great responsibility, not with great power comes just keep screwing the same girl. <laughs> Come on, man. It wasn't like in his dying breath, with great power comes great responsibility. In the meantime, get all the pussy you can, Pete. <laughs> Can't change that to get all the ass you can. In, in the meantime, get all the ass you can, Peter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, okay, but, but at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm bagging on Mary Jane. Pete was kind of being a dick, too, because yeah. what he did with Gwen Stacy, you know, he, he's all, you know, macking on her in public, doing the, the very private kiss. And then later, he's all like, what? Oh, what I do? I, I don't understand. Yeah, he kissed Gwen <laughs> Stacy. He, and he knows he's going to catch shit when he get home. Why, why he <laughs> he yeah. kissed her in front of everyone, the famous upside down kiss. Yeah. As, as Mary Jane says, that was our kiss, which admittedly sounded a little crazy. But still, <laughs> I can see your point. No, I felt that way. I was like, he, how could you not do that and not realize when you get home you'll get your ass whooped. Well, hey, yeah. I know you Spider-Man, but you ain't that incredible. <laughs> I know. I loved it, man. In the restaurant and stuff, you're like, you see it coming and stuff he's saying. Like, the fact that, okay, he initiated that kiss with her and, like, it was one thing. It's like, she was just some random girl, but then she walks in and he's like, oh, she's a girl in my class. Wait, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This girl I thought was just some girl you picked in the crowd to kiss. You know her? What, what's going on? He's all like, what? She's just a girl <laughs> in my class. It's like, dude, Men have tried that excuse for years, One and it me. does not work. Exactly. One and, me. Exactly. <laughs> and the way he's even, the way he's even saying this shit, huh? What do you mean? It can't be that more convincing. Well, you gotta remember, it's like Spider-Man's powers, as cool as they are, don't really lend themselves to better lovemaking, you'd think, right? It's not like she's dating Reed Richards, okay? <laughs> this is Spider-Man. After you swung through the city 10, 15 times, the allure kind of starts to go away, you know? It's why Clark Kent always ended up like Lois Lane for like a week, and then she's like, I'm bored. What's over here? Well, you know what it is, man. I mean, we, you cannot ignore the fact that Spider-Man, what makes him so lovable is that he is a geek, a true nerd. He's been a nerd all his life. Now that everybody loves him, and he's starting to get some interest, He's looking at getting tail. He ain't thinking about being polite or doing the smart thing. Oh, yeah. You know he's like every other dork. She's like, come on, baby, come to bed. He's like, hold on, I just want to download this one thing. <laughs> See, that's the thing. If I was Spider-Man, my mask would be all off. I li <laughs> everybody would know my black ass. Everybody would see my black ass swinging around the city. They, I'd be getting tail left and right. Shit, I mean... Um, yeah, and yeah, and in the meantime, the rest of us would be getting killed by Dr. Octopus <laughs> and the Green Goblin Web for being friends of yours. You think I care? <laughs> web hey. of getting ass man exactly <laughs> yeah yeah getting ass man that'd be my that'd be my my logan on my um, on my shirt G, it, get, how you spell ass that? man <laughs> I, that, i'd be gas getting <laughs> ass man no i'd be gam i'm sorry i can't read i'm a literate man but only uh, fights female super villains yeah they got the bodacious tatas hell yeah that's right i'd be gam uh, <laughs> i'd be got gam <laughs> no uh pumpkin head. <laughs> that girl does kind of look like a pumpkin. Well, her and Cameron Diaz, they both got those pumpkin faces. Yeah. Uh, you want to Kristen call Dunst. Kristen Dunst. Kristen Dunst. 
In fact, I could, that, 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 that should be the next Spider-Man villain. <laughs> Spider-Man versus girlfriend Pumpkinhead. <laughs> there is a jack-o'-lantern, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I, look, I don't want to give y'all the wrong idea. Where y'all loved it, really, just a movie, man. I mean, I'm, I can see where y'all would love it. To me, it just ended up being like a good summer movie. Nothing great, but a lot of great special effects, a lot of great action scenes. You're right about that. I mean, action scenes had me on the edge of my seat. Action packed, Pee Wee. That's true. I mean, there's so many of those where I was just wincing with people getting hit upside the head and and uh, you know clotheslined. But the action scenes were amazing. Yeah, I'm scared to go see this at the IMAX because just in a regular theater, I was ducking and weaving. Came out of there, I had to go get a massage. My You'd neck have... was hurting. I'm sorry. I'm gonna... What is that? Again? I said, came out of that theater, I had to go get a massage. My neck was hurting so bad from ducking. Damn, you yeah. uh, sucking dick. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, that wasn't even right. I don't, know what, that? I don't know what I can't. I'm sorry, man. I don't, I, that wasn't right. I'm... Paging Dr. Freud. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I thought it just suffered a little bit of the story just because I didn't feel anything for the characters at all, except for Peter Parker and Harry Osborn. But, um, yeah, you know, I mean, it'll, it'll do well. People have fun. You know, some people see it like me. Some people love it like y'all. Okay. I, I, I suppose you could describe any movie that way. But uh, I, I couldn't mm. love this movie anymore, and I give it full... Full IMAX price. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's probably my least favorite out of the whole three, but it's uh, but it's good. I mean, it's fun. It's I, fun. I think this is the topper to end all toppers to trilogies, and I think there's going to be a strong argument made that this is the best trilogy. That this of of film trilogies, this is the best one, the one that feels the most complete. That's crazy, but <laughs> you got a whole lot of shit in there. <laughs> 